June came to us in severely emaciated shape. So when we have a horse that's been really badly starved, we have to be careful with refeeding her. So June's been on pretty close vet watch. Um, the Horse Plus techs have been watching her around the clock and then I've been uh, evaluating her about weekly. She had a little setback with laminitis on week one that has fully resolved. We're happy about that. Today, she's got some um, abnormalities in her GI tract and some different gut sounds. And even though she's pretty well hydrated, we're gonna give her some more rectal fluids with some electrolytes to help make sure she stays drinking. She had some IV pain medication this morning and that did help bring her heart rate down a little bit. We're watching her pretty closely. Um, she's not foundering, but one of our concerns when you've had really long-term starvation is that that hind gut microbe population is really abnormal. So that takes time to readdress. And until those hindgut microbes are working again, it's really hard to digest food appropriately. So it's kind of touch and go with evaluating what she needs on a daily basis. Uh, my level of concern is not super high for, for June today, but we want to make sure that she stays comfortable. So that's our main goal today is maintain hydration and make sure that she's comfortable. Mental health is a hugely important part of overall health. So it's important that June gets the medications that she needs, but it's also really nice for her to have some green grass and be able to stand out um, in the shade and in the breeze and not just have to stand in the stall. So she's getting to have some turnout time in a smaller paddock where there's some really nice grass for her. And I think that's an important part of helping her heal is making sure that she gets some good outside time. So we're about to turn her out as soon as she gets those other meds on board today and um, I think that is helping her. Her mentation really has changed since she first came. She was pretty kind of closed off and uh, every time I evaluate her she seems a little bit brighter and a little bit more engaged.